Hey everyone, Steve here with Pastor Jordan, day six, Romans chapter six. Jordan, what's the data of you for the Word of God okay, today? Okay, I got a few things here, but um, there's a word that he keeps saying over and over again. Is He's talking about like verse 12 says, don't let sin rule in your body any longer, but he uses this word offer. Don't offer yourself to anything, right? And I was just thinking about like this week, there's been a few things. We have Facebook Marketplace where we are, and you see these great deals come up, and sometimes things, even people offer for free, right? I'm like, I want it, text them, and then free you just couch. don't hear anything back, or you hear something back, and then next thing you know, they sold it, and then they didn't tell you, even though you agreed to get it. And so we're used to these offers being like pulled back, and just, it's almost like if I get it, that's that's the surprise, right? Yep. And um, Paul's talking about how offering is don't, think so like loose in the area of offering, especially your life is your life is so precious and you have an opportunity now to make the choice to either offer yourself to God or offer yourself to sin. And we make that mm-hmm. choice. And he's like, there's consequences to both. So don't think like we can kind of um, just offer a little bit here to sin. And then I'll go back and I'll offer a little bit there to God is like, he's saying is, is you have that choice. You're either going to be a slave to sin or God's going to be your master and you'll be allow obedience to be your master. And so that idea of kind of, I thought about compartmentalization. <laughs> yeah. It's like my speech impediment from a child comes out, these big words. So it's this idea, like sometimes in Christianity, and you, we find this where like some people, they, they give themselves to God in one area. And then in another area, it's like God doesn't have any room at all, right? And mm-hmm. I think Paul's saying is like, don't separate your life into these little tiny rooms. Is either give yourself fully to God, or if you're going to give yourself to sin, know that there's consequences yep. to it, and you're making the choice. So that's what kind of stood out to me in Romans chapter 6. What about no, you, Steve? No, that's good, Jordan. The, um, a few things. It's, we were talking before this. It's so hard to condense down some of this into in mm-hmm. just a couple of minutes. But um, one of the things that really stood out is the power of the cross and the power of Jesus and what he has done and that sin no longer has power over us. us. You're going to hear me talk about that for the next couple of days. <laughs> um, but here in verse, uh, verse 6, we know that our old self, our flesh, was crucified with him in order that the body of sin might be brought to nothing. Mm-hmm. So we, are no longer, we would no longer be enslaved to sin. And it's, we are talking before about this, how it's really easy to, to actually put more faith in the power of sin to mess us up mm. than in the power of God to redeem us and that he has redeemed us and that we are no longer slaves to sin. We can choose to sin, but we're no longer chained to it. We're mm. no longer forced into sin. Sin can no longer drag us down. It can entice us, but the power of God that we have been, we have been cut off from sin and that we have the freedom to choose righteousness yeah. and its benefits. And like that, said, that, that offer that what God has to offer now is just so much beyond what we could ever hope or even imagine. And we have access to that, that I shared this um, months and months ago, but a picture I had that God was, had these cakes on the counter and I was trying to grab a bigger piece. And he said, Stephen, like there's open the fridge. There's, there's always enough cake. There's always enough. There's so much in God's kingdom we have access to. There's always more than enough. And just that um, stirring in my heart that, God, I'm going to trust you to be abundantly more than enough. And thank you that I'm no longer tied to sin, yeah. but you've set me free and I get to choose you and all the abundance that you have. That's powerful. It's powerful. I love that imagery, right, of um, where we're free. We're free to make that choice. And that's what Paul's encouraging us is like, make that choice and offer yourself to God, right? Mm -hmm. Continually offer yourself to God. So why don't you pray for us, Steve, as we close out today. So Jesus, I thank you that you won absolute, total and complete victory on the cross. Lord, that you defeated death, you defeated sin. Lord, and you set us free, that we were crucified with you, that our old nature, our sinful nature, it is dead and buried and that you made us alive in you, Lord, that we are in you and you are in us. Lord, I pray for fresh revelation, Lord, that you would just go past our minds and speak right to our spirits of the revelation of who you have called us, reborn us to be, rebirthed us to be. Lord, I ask you for freedom, for grace, and for joy to be released in Jesus' name. Bless you guys. And um, no fear. I just felt like that was a word for someone today. No fear. Don't have fear. Is that when you are in Christ, is that you don't have to have fear of sin pulling you down anymore. So God bless you. Have a great rest of your day.